The top stories police called out at SSA amid obstructive tactics by striking workers. New call to restore the burning of Mr. Harding. And government aims for two schools of athletics excellence. Welcome to Nation News for Thursday, July the 9th, 2015. Police were called out to the headquarters of the Sanitation Service Authority after striking workers tried to prevent trucks from the NCC from being filled up there with petrol. The workers were apparently unhappy that the trucks might be used to collect the garbage that is piling up around the country. Shop steward Hugh Smith told Nation News that he told the truck drivers that no work could be done, but the agency's acting general manager Rosalind Knight gave instructions to open the gate. Mr. Smith said that within minutes, several police vehicles had turned up. The said workers to summon the president of the NUPW, Akani McDowell, who met them. That was in the morning. Later, Mr. McDowell was due to join representatives of the IDC at a conciliation session with the Labour Minister to try to resolve the dispute that has led to the waste collector's strike. In more news of industrial action, the sick-out among nurses at the psychiatric hospital is ending. President of the Unity Workers' Union, Caswell Franklin, who authorized the withdrawal of labor, told Nation News he was contacted by Permanent Secretary in the Health Ministry, Tennyson Springer, and they would be meeting on Friday. The nurses who called in sick over two days are protesting staff shortages and poor physical conditions at the hospital. Residents of St. Thomas and St. James attended an opposition-organized meeting on Wednesday to discuss the controversial waste-to-energy plant to be cited at Vaucluse. They heard opposition leader Mayor Motley restate that the Barbados Labour Party will continue to seek answers to its questions on the project. Last month, Environment Minister Dennis Lowe told the House of Assembly that the plant would bring an end to landfills. There might, it is being claimed, be something therapeutic about restoring to Krapova the burning of Mr. Harding, a once popular tradition which became rather too hot to handle and had to be stopped in 1979. When the NCF held a news conference to unveil its best sponsors, Johnny Chuda, a senior spokesman for one of those sponsors, McInerney Quality Inc., said the burning of the effigy and a hated symbol of hard times would help to give Barbadians relief from the problems they are facing. Perhaps out of respect, the NCF has agreed to consider the suggestion. Acting CEO Wayne Webster said the practice was stopped because many people could not identify with the burning ceremony. The throwing of stones at Mr. Harding also became an issue. A report from Georgetown says a Guyanese man was arrested at the city's Ogle Airport with two kilos of marijuana and one kilo of cocaine as he was preparing to board a flight to Barbados on Wednesday. The drugs were found in a suitcase bearing the 29-year-old security guard's name. In sport, Minister of Sport Stephen Lashley favors assigning two schools as centers of sport and excellence with financial backing to boot. The minister made the comments at the Garfield Sobers Complex just prior to a motivational speech by American track and field great Carl Lewis. Mr. Lashley told the audience that it is time to identify two schools and have them recognized as schools of athletics fame. He said Spray Memorial, the unending queens of girls sports, must be uh, one of the schools and they should be adequately funded to provide an outlet for aspiring athletes. And finally, a man using a selfie stick to film himself during the visit of Pope Francis to Ecuador captured a team of pickpockets who targeted him on video. Diego Maino, who posted his video to YouTube, was shooting video with a camera attached to a selfie stick on Tuesday while walking through the crowd gathered to hear the pontiff celebrate Mass when a man wearing a leather jacket and two female accomplices started following him. Mr. Mino, apparently unaware of his pursuers, continued to film and smile at the cameras 
as the trio caught up to him and the man slipped a hand into his pocket and stole his cell phone. Minor wrote in the video's description, he's hoping members of the public will be able to help police identify the three suspects. That's what they do. That's Nation News for Thursday. For more, log on to nationnews.com as well as YouTube, Facebook and Twitter. And remember to pick up your Wiki Nation on Friday or subscribe to our e-paper.